have three more officers shot. We have the one and then we have two more. There are three more officers shot. This is a little rattling for me, all these police. And my house is literally like 50 yards away from me. It's just terrifying to know that something like this could be happening outside your own home. This is senseless, it doesn't need to happen, and it continues to happen over and over again. Thanks for joining us at five as we continue following developments in the shootout, which left two people dead and nine Phoenix police officers hurt. Five of the officers were shot early this morning. Happy to report all of them are expected yeah, to survive. That is the good news in all of this. The officers were trying to save a woman and a baby in an overnight shooting. The baby survived. The woman in the home and the suspect died. We in want this to case. sorry. We want to give you a quick look at where this happened southwest of downtown Phoenix. The map zooms into this small neighborhood there near 51st Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. Those large buildings are Amazon and FedEx warehouses. So this happened just south of that industrial area. Our AZ Family News Chopper live over that scene of where this happened. And you can see hours later, police are still on the scene. They're planning to be there throughout the night and they say even into tomorrow until they get more answers into what happened here exactly. We've got team coverage tonight at five. Amy Cutler is standing by at the hospital. Kim Powell is live at the scene, but first let's get to Nicole Kreitz. She has new information from the police chief and the Phoenix mayor, Nicole. Yetta and Jared, Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams and Mayor Kate Gallego gave us a live update in just the last hour, thanking their officers for, for putting their lives on the line in this, the most dangerous, critical incident that Phoenix Police has ever seen. Of course, they were moving in to try and save a woman who was shot overnight. They haven't released her name yet. Detectives say she is the suspect's ex and the baby's mother. Now, here's... Uh, what we know about the suspect. His name is 36 year old Morris Jones and police found him dead in the home after that hours long standoff. We just got a new photograph of Morris Jones the third from a previous arrest several years ago out of Oklahoma. So here's what's almost unbelievable. Police say he also shot at the couple's baby girl when police moved in to try and get her out of there. Another family member came out. You could see him here put the baby carrier down on the front doorstep and we don't know if her father told him to do that or what but that's when officers rushed in to grab the baby get her out of harm's way and again police say her own father opened fire shooting four more officers hitting four others with shrapnel i don't know how that baby wasn't hurt look at that narrow door frame there uh it was just a pretty insane uh, episode there. Our crew also got some really remarkable footage of uh, officers, injured officers being carried away from the scene. It really just pulls at your heartstrings to see here. Again, there hasn't been another critical incident like this with so much violence against Phoenix officers in the city's entire history. I'm incredibly proud of our Phoenix Police Department. These officers chose to run into harm's way. A baby is safe today because of our Phoenix police officers. Our community was devastated by acts of violence that not only injured nine officers, but also resulted in the loss of the lives of two community members. Well, you can see the crime scene tape is still up. Police say they're going to be out here for a very long time. If you can imagine processing the scene takes a lot. Kim Powell's joining me now. Yeah, all of this happened while people were sleeping in their homes just two o'clock in the morning when they first heard those gunshots. But several people told us that they heard the gunshots, they woke up and then they watched the rest of the morning as the scene unfolded. And of course, the situation developed. Kind of scary just waking up to a bunch of gunshots, you know. Christopher Lopez lives across from where nine officers were injured in a standoff situation. Phoenix police say his neighbor ambushed an officer who was responding to a 911 call that a woman was shot inside the house. He said he's only talked to this neighbor once before. Maybe two days ago, he was actually sitting in his front door right there playing with his daughter, letting his daughter play in the front yard and kind of just waved to him, waved back and that was it. That was, that was literally like two days ago. So. Lopez captured this video from his second floor. You can see the officers going to the door to save the baby that was placed on the porch. Then, and as the cops went in, we heard like nine more rounds just go off, and then police just scatter everywhere. Another man who was sleeping in his vehicle said he saw the injured officer get put into an ambulance. 
you could hear the ricochets of the bullets go where I was currently standing at in the first media responders that were there at the moment. You could hear that noise of a projectile going over. And out of every six rounds, I'd say one of them was doing that. Phoenix police will continue their investigation for hours to come as the nine injured officers recover from their injuries. I hope they're going to be okay because that's, I mean, they put their life on the line all the time for the neighborhoods. And to see that happen, it's sad because they do have families. Now, thankfully and miraculously, all nine of those officers are expected to be okay.